Hi, it's Mike here from Bug Bully Pest Control. I'm gonna show you an example of some bed bug activity, and I'll show you the difference between a baby or a nymph bed bug and an adult. So if you look here, there's one walking. If I can find it, I'm gonna show you how small it is. Right there. So you see that right there? That is a baby bed bug or a nymph bed bug and it looks like it hasn't had a blood meal yet so that's why they're very hard to see so those are the ones that are the biggest issue the adults you can see pretty easily but these are the ones that are a pain uh, I can barely see that if we come back if I can focus you can barely see that if it, especially if it was hiding in the, the cloth here they're very hard to see and these are the ones that people miss during inspection and people have bites and they wonder where they're coming from and a lot of times you, if it's not the adult that you can see then it's these guys so you can still see him here moving around uh, he's in should be in focus but just crawling around and then these are the uh, some more evidence of bed bugs here and I'll show you an adult actually down in the climb up trap. I caught one down there. So that's the size difference. That's an adult. You can tell how it has the um, blood meal. So it's filled up with blood in the back and it has that color to it. So that is an adult. That's the difference. Um, so they're pretty easy to see. There might be, yeah, so those are a lot easier to see. Um, Especially here, if this was, wasn't was a dark color, it would be a lot harder. And there's some more like baby ones up here hiding like right in this, where my finger is, right there. And if this wasn't a dark color, say if it was uh, like a white, it would be a lot harder to see the baby. And they would still bite you, and you wouldn't know you had bed bugs, and they would still bite. So there's another one, baby one moving right there and he's going back in the cloth but there's another example of the smaller one that are harder to see um, it's easy to see here because it's a dark color but if it was light it would be a lot harder and so one there's some more evidence so one good way to kind of eliminate just this issue right here is to Put a bed bug cover on this or a mattress cover that zips up um, so if you take a cover that zips and put it on here then it pretty much eliminates this as a source for them to hide or these bugs here won't be able to come out if you put a cover here's another one moving right there uh, but if you put a cover on this that zips up they can't get out and they will die inside the cover so you can see how small that is. I don't know if you can see the movement, but it's tiny. It's like hiding right, right where my finger is. But if you put a cover on here, it zips up. They won't be able to come out and they'll die right inside. So that will eliminate this as a hiding area. They won't be able to hide in here anymore. And it'll kill what's in here. So get a mattress cover or actually a box spring. It's the same thing, mattress and box spring covers the same thing. So you just cover the mattress, cover the box spring, and then uh, I would treat the perimeter and the bed frame. So here you go again, he's moving right near my finger. It's a little one. And if I come all the way back, you can see how hard it would be to find that. It's so small. Uh, it's not really focused. There you go. But yeah, that's just uh, showing you some evidence of bed bugs and where they like to hide. So it's Mike here from Bug Bully Pest Control based in Massachusetts, locally owned and operated in Massachusetts. If you have any pest issues or bed bugs, check out our website, bugbullypest.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video.